The audience screamed, Kowalski! As the world's greatest juggler unicycled onto the floor, the tension was thick and no one knew what was in store. Without any notice, up went a dish and a tennis ball too, and when he threw in the sharp knife and sword, the crowd went, Ooh! He added a potato and also a tomato. It was like watching a tornado, but he needed to add more. In went a softball. I thought for sure that thing would fall. No, not the running chainsaw. This made everyone drop their jaws. His assistant kept on pitching. Up next went the rubber chicken, which always gets a laugh. <laughs> Kowalski wasn't even flinching. To him, it was a gas. He had nine objects flowing. The anxiety was growing. And when he called for the toaster, there was a silence in the crowd. His assistant sneezed Achoo! as he threw the toaster in. It hit the great Kowalski in the chin. Before he could recover, the chainsaw cut off his arm. The dish landed on his head and the sword stabbed him in the leg. The great Kowalski fell to the floor, along with the rubber chicken, which got no laugh this time. Down went the tomato, down went the potato, down went the softball. And to add insult to injury, the tennis ball hit him in his man parts, followed by the toaster hitting the ground so hard it blew apart and exploded in every which direction. This just added to the chaos and imperfection. At last, such a tale of woe, as the great Kowalski laid on his back, almost like in slow-mo, the sharp knife, which was the final object to fall, cut through his carotid artery, which ended it all and the show. Years later to this day, the famed Jugglers Museum has on display the great Kowalski's shoes, which few of his audience were willing to view as they all carry emotional scars. Preferring not to witness any form of juggling is what they choose, as they all have horrid nightmares when they snooze. I forgot to mention, on the night the great Kowalski kicked the bucket, only his avid fans raised a glass and toasted while watching him on the 10 o'clock news, where they reported his family's lawyer will sue the poor assistant who wound up with the worst case of the flu. Oh yes, and the next day, all the media outlets around the world shared the same headlines. From New York to the Florida Keys and even the little fruit stand in Belize, simply put, a poorly timed sneeze brought the great Kowalski to his knees. Jeez, and so goes the story of the great Kowalski. <laughs>